Hello everyone, welcome back to Did You Know Dino? Did you know Stegosaurus? I am a Stegosaurus! Oh, I see we're going with the ADS movie uh, references, aren't we? Yes, we are! Stegosaurus was a large theophoran herbivore from the late Jurassic. It's famous for its large, kite-shaped plates and killer tail spikes. Hey everybody, I'm the Stegosaurus. I got these cool little cat plates on my back and I got a spiky tail. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh great, Harold's talking about his back spikes and tail spikes again. Here we go, we get it Harold, they're beautiful. Dang right they're beautiful. Stegosaurus was discovered and named in 1877 by American paleontologist O.C. Marsh. Its name means roofed lizard. This is due to Marsh's initial belief that the plates on Stegosaurus's back formed a roof over its back, similar to a turtle shell. Future Stegosaur finds would change what we believe the animal looked like. It went from a giant turtle, to the classic tail-dragging lizard, to something closer resembling what we have today. Back in my day, we had more sideways poker things and armored back, and I preferred this design. Well, you know what? I'm a grumpy, tail-dragging lizard man. I don't want to talk to anybody and forget all you. Hey guys, I'm the real Stegosaurus. Look at how pretty and colorful I am with my spacky tail and my spacky back. In 2003, fossil hunter Bob Simon found an almost complete skeleton at Red Canyon Ranch in Wyoming, USA. The find showed that Stegosaurus had a much longer neck than previously thought and was much more grossile. The fossil was named Sophie, after the daughter of the hedge fund manager who made the acquisition of the fossil possible for London's Natural History Museum. I'm a spooky, scary, skeleton, long-necked dino named Sophie. Fear me. All right then, Sophie, moving on. Stegosaurus was a low-level browser, eating ground-level foliage such as ferns and cycads. It is hypothesized that Stegosaurus may have been able to raise itself on two legs, allowing it to reach higher-level vegetation when possible. <laughs> hypothesize my spiky butt. I'm doing it right now. Did I mention I am a Stegosaurus? Just go eat your ferns, Jeffrey. Okay, I am a Stegosaurus. <sighs> The function of Stegosaurus's plates is a heavily debated topic. Some paleontologists believe that it was used for temperature regulation. Due to the cooler temperatures in the late Jurassic, the plates may have provided more surface area for Stegosaurus to absorb heat from the sun. Ah, <sighs> nothing like sitting in the sun soaking up the warm, warm rays after a long day of being a Stegosaurus. Others believe they were used for intimidation and display. It's possible it was all of the above. Gosh darn it, Jeffrey, look at my spiky back. Isn't it intimidating? Now back off. Well, it may be intimidating, but you know what? I've got him too because I am a Stegosaurus. Jeffrey, the joke's getting old. Same with the reference. Move on before I spike you to death. Okay, I am a Stegosaurus. Jeffrey, what did I just say? Stegosaurus's tail spikes, known as Stegomizers, were its primary weapon against the many carnivores of the late Jurassic. Several fossils of Allosaurus have been found with punctured wounds matching the size of a Stegosaurus's Stegomizer. Ah, that was my beautiful running leg! Why'd you do that? Because you were trying to eat my butt, dude! Come on, it's my job! I'm a carnivore! I'll never win Jurassic Track now! Sucks to be you! Stegosaurus was one of the strangest creatures of the late Jurassic, boasting an unusual Godzilla-like appearance that would fascinate generations to come. That's right over here, me, Godzilla, I am a Stegosaurus. Get it? Because the, the voice actor of this channel makes a lot of Godzilla videos, so he's using his Godzilla voice. Yeah, yeah, I am a Stegosaurus, all that reference. Alright then, Godzilla, this has been Did You Know Dino? Did You Know Stegosaurus? Hey, wait a minute. Me, are you the one doing the narration for this video? Hey, it's right, Godzilla. It's my extra job. I really like dinosaurs, along with giant rocks and throwing them at things. Okay, then. Well, uh, well, this has been a crossover, I think. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Super big thanks, as always, to Dinosaur Comics for letting me dub their comics. Go check out all their social medias in the description. If you want some sweet dinosaur pins, they're also starting a Kickstarter to launch those, so be sure to check that out. Link to the... Kickstarter in the description. Anyways, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see more of from this channel down in the comments below. Have a good day, and remember, I am a Stegosaurus.